topic is uh, about osteoporosis okay, in our hearts. So, uh, regarding osteoporosis, it's a very vast topic, but I'll just try to run through. It's the most common bone disease in humans, characterized by low bone mass, increase in bone fragility, which is, makes susceptibility to fractures. It generally does not come clean, become, uh, does not become clinically apparent until unless a fracture occurs. And the common fracture in the spine, the femur, neck, and the distal forearm. There is a great financial aspect and a big impact to the society, the government, and also to each individual or the family which suffers this. It's a serious public health problem worldwide and also in India. I think most of our practice as orthopedic surgeons, I think around 50 to 60 percent of our surgeries are related to these hip fractures or osteoporosis related fractures. And this problem has increased because of increase in life expectancy. So as the bone usually remodels and as it as the aging process, there is bone resorption. So one has to keep on increasing the bone mass and reduce the bone resorption. The causes are alcohol, smoking, D-deficiency, inadequate physical activity, reduced calcium intake, excessive thinness, excessive vitamin A, immobilization, prolonged immobility. So these are the other various causes the genetic disorders, hormonal imbalance, GI disorder which we see in our practice like uh, irritable bowel syndrome common in females. So there is a lot of this psychological overlay with metabolic cause which leads to this osteoporosis. So history clinically risk factors related to osteoporosis which is age and other associated diseases physical examination, one can present with generalized bone aches, bone pains, unexplained pains which do not fit into your clinical examination. So to assess BMD assessment, vertebral imaging and there are certain biochemical markers of bone turnover. Physical examination, this is just uh, to show that gradually as aging and severe osteoporosis in the spine, the spine becomes kyphotic, just reducing the trunk height and also the height, the distance between the ribcage and the pelvis reduces. So WHO defines osteoporosis in terms of BMD, which is measured by DEXA scan and you measure the DEXA scan dual energy x-ray absorptiometry where you measure with T score and the Z score. T, the normal bone density is no lower than one standard deviation below the bone mean peak bone mass. The T score should be less than minus one. And if it is between one, minus one and minus 2.5, it is osteopenic. And less than minus 2.5, it will be severely osteoporotic. So indications for BMT testing, age, postmenopausal, perimenopausal, even in men, above 55, 60 plus, with associated certain diseases like diabetes, thyroid and other hormonal issues. The sites where it is measured is in the spine and the hip. So there is important T-score where it is compared with the normal healthy individual and the Z-score is the BMD value compared with that of a person matched for age and sex. There is also simple x-rays which can give us an indication about how much osteoporotic the bone is or in a spine x-ray in a lateral view you see biconcave end plates which suggests there is a micro fracture or because of the low bone mass, the, the end plates become biconcave. So this is one tool developed FRAX which is developed by WHO 
and there's an algorithm which has been developed and you have to fill that format questionnaire is there which includes alcohol hormones and there's certain smoking and all those issues and then you come to a conclusion how much is the risk factor for osteoporosis in future in next 5 to 10 years so the management is general recommendations and pharmacological pharmacological therapy this adequate intake of calcium and vitamin d definitely 1000 mg per day of calcium on 1200 mg per day of calcium in women as far as vitamin d is concerned around 800 to 1000 international units of vitamin d per day and general recommendation regular weight bearing and muscle strengthening exercises to prevent falls tobacco and alcohol definitely has to stop alcohol yes occasionally so this the other pharmacological therapy we by this which reduce the bone resorption bisphosphonates the alendronate ibendronate residronate zoledronic acid then comes calcitonin and also parathyroid derivatives teriparatide there are new agents like denosumab which i am not aware at all so these are the various drugs which are used to treat osteoporosis there are some newer agents like strontium which i have just read so i am not aware of these as well so in short it is physical therapy how to diagnose there certain criteria related to age other associated illnesses bmd and then we are has to do with good physical exercises and supplements with calcium and vitamin d so osteoporosis osteoporosis is a condition as well as significant morbidity and mortality and much success has been achieved due to enhanced understanding of basic bone biology there is need for drugs that could with high safety increase bone mass improve biomechanics and reduce fracture risk more than to existing products while giving long lasting benefits even if treatment is stopped thank you